Once again, welcome to everybody here and on, on online. Hydration. What comes to mind when we say, are you hydrated? Oh, I think you look rehydrated. You need to rehydrate. Water. Remember, eight glasses of water a day. And how we rush through those eight glasses of water to ensure that we are hydrated. This is what I believed. I want to bring you to a little word called salt. Have you ever heard of a bad salt and a good salt? Well, let's read in Matthew, 3, uh, Matthew 5 verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot of men. There are two types of salt. There's a good salt and a bad salt. I was brought up with very white salt, and it just poured so beautifully. Sadly, we were warned, do not eat too much salt. It causes high blood pressure. I stopped cooking with salt. If you wanted salt, you could add your own. But tonight, I want to tell you that that salt is not the best option. It's not the choice for you. It has no mineral value. It has been bleached so that it is so beautifully white. And chemicals have been added so that it flows so easily and pours so quickly. I'm sure in South Africa, the Himalayan salt you have all heard of. It's a pink salt. Do you know that that salt has up to 75 minerals in it? A salt that is even more recommended than the Himalayan salt is the Celtic salt. Unfortunately, it is quite costly here in South Africa, and that has 82 minerals in it. For those eight glasses of water that you quickly down and you rush to the bathroom, for that to actually be absorbed by your cells, you need potassium, you need magnesium, you need sodium. Potassium you'll get from your green vegetables. Remember your parents saying, eat your greens? I think it's about time you started. The good quality salts have magnesium in it, naturally. Isn't it amazing that in the Bible we read that there's a good salt, and there's a salt that is not good for human consumption. It's to be trodden on. Myself, I only found out about this amazing little nugget about two years ago. I never knew anything about a good salt and a bad salt. If you are thirsty, you have not been drinking enough water throughout the day. In order for the water to be absorbed, the easiest way to do is take a little crystal of that pink Himalayan salt, put it on your tongue, and it's amazing how the water is actually drawn into the cell. If you have also been eating your green vegetables, because we need the potassium in that cell. Imagine you have thousands of cells that we have been created with. The intention was that all these cells should be working at its maximum if it was sufficiently hydrated. 
Imagine the energy you would have. You would be detoxed, detoxed properly. We are missing out by not eating the right salt. We can be drinking eight glasses of water and not being hydrated. And I can vouch for that. It works. If I'm nauseous and I think, how much water have I had today? I haven't had enough water. I go and take a little crystal of salt, I put it on my tongue, and I start sipping the water. Have up to half a glass. Go and do something. Come back again later. Have another crystal of salt and have water so that your cells can be hydrated. I recommend to you, go on YouTube and listen to Barbara O'Neill, what she has to say about hydration. It is a nugget I never knew about, and yet it's part of New Start. Water, but without the salt, Without those minerals, it cannot enter. And do you know, if you drink enough water in the right way, even if your blood is sluggish, it even helps to thin the blood, that it flows properly. Thank you. I pray that this has helped you as much as it, ha it helped me.